The SMMA space is plagued with misconceptions and contradictions. And it often feels like you're walking on a minefield trying to avoid wrong advice that may lead you astray and away from your goal. Now, there's always gonna be ups and downs, but I want you guys to have the straightest path that you can to success. And that is why in this video, I'm gonna cover six of the biggest misconceptions in the social media marketing agency space. After watching this video, you're gonna have a much more clear idea as to what not to do, and also what to do instead, which is drastically gonna increase the chances of you having success with SMA. So without further ado, let's go right into it. The first misconception is the idea of only offering one single service. Now, in theory, this makes sense, but in practice, it does not. In theory, yes, you want to reduce as much complexity as possible and only offer one single solution to the problem that your prospect is having. And not only that, but at least at front at the start, only get paid for that one single service. But in practice, I found that this common idea creates a lot of square-headed agency owners. And what I mean by that is the type of agency owner who's never gonna do anything outside of his scope of work, which is maybe, for example, Facebook ads. He or she is never gonna do anything that is not Facebook ads, especially if you're doing e-commerce, and especially if you wanna have a high retention rate, you want to make sure that you have more of a 360 approach. Your service, for example, Facebook ads, will not do the trick for your clients if the landing page where you're driving all the traffic is not optimized, or if they have no even marketing backend where they can literally increase their top line revenue by 20%. My point is, yes, you want to stick to one single service, but you need to diagnose all the areas that your service is dependent on and ensure that you do everything in your control to optimize them. I'm not saying work full time and create a whole new landing page without being paid for that. Yes, be paid for that, right? But offer free consultations and free guidelines that your client can implement so that the performance of your Facebook ads is impacted positively. So that's the first misconception. Now onto the second one. The second misconception is what I call the, I guess I'll do Facebook ads. This misconception is the idea that everyone has to do Facebook ads. If you're starting an agency, you're going to be doing Facebook ads. And I'm not going to lie, I'm a huge fan of Facebook ads. That is what my agency actually focuses on. And in my personal opinion, from having tested a bunch of different paid ads platforms, it is by far the best one, where the algorithm is the most optimized and where you can get the highest returns predictably for your clients. However, it's not the only service you can offer. You need to identify your strengths. I've had students come through my one-to-one -one mentorship program and they've had incredible success with, for example, Snapchat ads or even social media management. Management. For example, I had a student called Tim and he skilled his social media management agency well past the 10k month mark by simply just playing to his strengths. Hi everyone, my name is Timothy and I'm quickly hopping on Jaime's video to add on to his point that you don't necessarily need to start with Facebook ads with your agency and that you can obtain results and scale or doing something else. I believe it's about playing on your strength and knowing what you're good at and the skills that you already have. Having that said, for me, it was social media management. And I did that because I was able to grow my personal brand on different platforms. I mean, mainly TikTok to 600,000 followers. And this is a great selling point for me because I can show my clients that I practice what I preach and that I can actually deliver on, deliver on results. If I do it for myself, if I've also been able to do it for clients, it adds on to a lot of credibility. And I believe it's a major reason for my success. And I've been you know, able to scale the agency to well over 10,000 euros profit per month. So yeah, understand what you're good at and capitalize on this. Jaime, I will let you take over and thank you for the few seconds I had on your video. Take care. The next misconception is the idea that smashing that like button is not gonna help you grow your agency. And you might be wondering, why would it? Well, my friends, I don't wanna pat myself too much on the back, but I get a lot of comments and DM from people telling me that my SMA content is uh, pretty damn good and that my free trainings are like nothing else out there. So if you wanna keep consuming my content, supporting me as well, smashing that like button really helps my team and myself to stay motivated. And it also helps with the algorithm showing you my content a lot more and pushing it out to a lot more people. So I would really appreciate it. And with that, let's get back into the video. The third misconception is the idea that you need to be an expert at Facebook ads or whatever paid ad service before you actually start your agency. And this is a massive misconception because I truly believe that people don't quite understand what it actually takes to become a paid ads expert. For one, to become a Facebook ads expert, you actually need to have field experience. And what that means is to become a Facebook ads expert, you need to have run campaigns for other clients. And so when you're thinking of starting an agency, there's really two paths that you can take. Number one path is you can try to become a paid ads expert, uh, an expert at your service. And you can spend two to three years trying, because it's not assured, but trying to get field experience, trying to work under other agencies to then come to the real station that you didn't actually need to do that to start an agency of your own. Or the second path, which is the path that I recommend, is you can actually understand that that is not your job. Your job is not to be a paid ads expert. 
And your clients actually understand this. They are hiring an agency. They're not hiring a contractor or a freelancer. So they understand that the agency owner is probably not the person that's going to be running their ads. And that way you can utilize value arbitrage to seek out people that are Facebook ads experts already, that love that craft, that love to work under agencies, seek them out, get them in your team and create an A team that gets amazing results for clients right from the bat that gets amazing results for their clients. Not only that, but an agency that actually grows much quicker because you actually have the time because you're not running the Facebook ads, you actually have the time to focus your attention on the revenue generating activities, which is sales and outreach, creating an incredible client experience and much more. So that is the third misconception. Fourth misconception is my niche is e-commerce. Now I just want you to imagine myself pressing a big red button. E-commerce, my friends, is not a niche. It is a sector, just like local business is not a niche, it's a sector. So you need to narrow down into something that you're passionate about. I don't really like to use that word passion, uh, but something that interests you already, so maybe a, a bit of a hobby, something ideally that you already understand. It's gonna allow you to get a competitive advantage because not only can you speak their language way easier and get a lot of knowledge on their sub niche very quickly, but it's also gonna help you stand out from the competition once you actually reach out to the clients in this space. So that is the fourth misconception. The fifth misconception is the idea that signing clients is everything. Now, yes, signing clients is very important and it will actually help you grow your agency and having a way of predictably landing meetings is absolutely vital for your agency. But signing clients is much harder than keeping clients. Not only that, but losing clients can teach you a lot, but it also harms your confidence and possibly even your reputation. And so a lot of agency owners just purely focus on the sales and the outreach side of things, but completely neglect the client experience and how good the clients feel and getting incredible results for your clients. When you're starting out, I recommend you put 80% of your time and focus on sales and outreach, because yes, you need that first client to give you that confidence, momentum, and to really feel like an agency owner, but that 20% every single day, even when you don't have clients, 20% of your time should be put into client experience, creating an incredible client ecosystem so that when you onboard a client, not only do you have a process to results, but you ensure that they have an incredible client experience. So that is the fifth misconception. And now onto the final misconception. The final misconception is what I call the outreach method misconception. Whenever students of mine and people in my free Facebook mastermind, link in the description, whenever they post results, the first comment is usually always, what outreach method are you using? Or what is the outreach method? What you need to understand is that it's not so much about the platform. There's so many different ways of acquiring customers, whether it's from forums, Reddit, LinkedIn, Facebook groups, creating your own Facebook group, reaching out on LinkedIn, cold email, a video audit method. There's so many ways of acquiring customers. But what people don't understand is that it's not so much the platform that makes you successful, it's how well you convey your irresistible offer. To get them to sign on as clients, you first need to get them on a call. And to get them on a call, you have to have that irresistible offer to get them to jump through that first hurdle, which is, am I gonna book a call with this person? Is what they're offering of value. It's not so much about the platform. As a prospect, I don't care if you reach out to me on Facebook or Instagram or cold email. What I care about is, is what you're offering of value? Does it attract me? And are you conveying it in a way that is gonna be of my interest? So guys, those are the six common misconceptions in the social media marketing space. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you can take these strategies and apply them straight away to your agency to get incredible results. If you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Go ahead and smash the like button. Really appreciate it. Really helps out down with the algorithm and the channel. Also leave down below any comments, any questions you may have on this video. I'll be sure to check those out. If you haven't subbed to my YouTube channel, go ahead and do that right now and hit the little bell icon. There's so much content coming out on entrepreneurship and a 360 approach to social media marketing agency. So if you haven't done that already, go ahead and do that now. And as always guys, hope everything's going well in your agency journey and I will see you in the next one. Peace.